Hello everyone, welcome to the Web3 Education Investment. How are you all doing? So today in this video, I'm going to give an update on the Polkadot ecosystem. Uh, and I, I think I got a lot of updates uh, in this video. So I will try my best to go a little bit fast uh, to save some time. And so first of all, let's take a look at the crowd now. So the Polkadot crowd now, there's only one parachain uh, and uh, uh, that's a uh, totem. And I already make a video actually uh, about how you can participate. Um, and uh, you can check this one as well. Like uh, I make an article and also a video. So you can check this one um, for all the details about the project and uh, also how to participate in the crowd now. So that's the first thing. Um, for the Kusama, um, the, the Imbu network won the snot. So congratulations. Um, that parachain is a decentralized crowdfunding doll built on the Polkadot blockchain platform. And um, so you can you can check this article they just published today. So this is the article they published today for all the details about the about the project, about the updates. And um, so they have all the timeline with all the uh, updates. So you can see they, they have the Akana and they also win the Web3 Foundation on, on the, the fund. Um, so which is great. Okay, so you can check this one. Now let's move on to the second one is uh, Parallel Finance. Parallel Finance is uh, um, actually, it has a lot of updates. Uh, so the Parallel Finance, uh, first of all, they have the C dot as connect rule now and you can use that to borrow the dot. Uh, they also have the NFT going on. They have the events in New York. Uh, and uh, they have the bounty program, which will be ended soon. So we only have two days left now. So if any of you interested, you want to contribute and uh, earn some free um, para and uh, HKO token, um, you can you can actually check the details here. I have uh, another article um, and go over all the details. Um, so if you go here, this article go over all the details you can you can check, including that um, bounty um, program with all the details. And so let me close some of them. Um, okay. Uh, now next one is a centrifuge. Centrifuge is the is a special type of uh, parachain that try to bring the real world assets on chain. And so they do have a few updates. The first one is the governance call. And so that's the first governance call that all the participants, they will have the opportunity to get, to get the pop NFT. Uh, and I'm so glad to, um, to be there and to also present the, the call. Um, so you can check my video. Um, so the video here, um, I, I'm there, you can, you can check, uh, I give the presentation about the pop and the NFT proposal. Um, so, so for those of you who participate, uh, don't forget to, to, uh, check the details and, uh, fill out the form and get the NFT. And um, so the other thing would be the on-chain vote. So they have a teenage, uh, migration. So, this migration will will be up. Uh, they they are going to update the old address to the new one. Uh, you can vote here and uh, and then this one only lasts for one day. So I do just uh, participate. I vote. It's very easy. Just click vote and uh, and put your the amount of safety you want to have. Um, you want to vote and uh, and then like make sure you you choose the conviction here because uh, by default is 0 0.1, uh, there's no knockup period. However, uh, if you just simply choose uh, this one, it's going to knock only eight days, but um, but you are going to have the full like, uh, like warm voting balance. 
Um, but since uh, the staking is not available yet, um, so um, my CFG, like I, I, I can choose more, like I can knock more because anyhow I cannot do anything. <laughs> so uh, use aid should be safe, I think, just in case later on uh, the staking function is available. Um, the detail would be here. If you are interested, you can check. Now the next one is the uh, Fana world and the knitting tree. So knitting tree is the decentralized cross chain identity aggregator um, that enables linking user identities across multiple networks. Uh, the Fana world is built on top of uh, Fana network. Uh, and they do have the NFT. So recently the, uh, those two projects um, they have worked together and uh, they work on the the minting the spirit NFT. Uh, that's a soul bound NFT, um, which is very interesting. And uh, um, this spirit NFT is non transferable. Um, so so you e each of the account should have one NFT, and uh, uh, that will represent your characteristics right so uh, how did they make it happen how did they get those uh, the need entry their app would be there to help you so um, I explored the my crypto profile version 2 MCP v2 uh, and uh, and then like, I successfully get my final word NFT and so if you are interested you can check my tutorial so I do go over how you can um, mean the NFT and what happened um, when you use uh, MCP version 2 um, and and also I talk about the soulbound NFT in the video and so this is the final word and the neat entry now the next one would be the Bifrost Bifrost is a Web3 derivatives protocol that provides decentralized cross-chain liquidity for staked assets and so the by frost uh, they also have the park dot crown uh, actually not too long time ago uh, they do win the snot uh, and I also make a video um, for the tutorial like how you can um, participate so if you are interested you can check this one so um, this one like I show you the crown uh, in park dot and so they have updates. Uh, first of all, is uh, is about the compensation for those like who contribute. Uh, when the by frost, uh, their crowd now is already um meet the soft cap. Um, I remember in my video I talked several times like I mentioned like okay now um by frost they stop accepting the thought. Um, although like you can still contribute, the problem is uh, they will not give you the rewards. So that's just like you knock your dot for nothing. Um, and uh, obviously they have a lot of discussion in their forum. Uh, and uh, there there are still people who contribute after after the they meet the the soft cap. And um, so they have a discussion here like. Uh, uh, whether you you are going to like how we are going to compensate those contributions um, when they already have the soft cap, that there are different options uh, and the the uh, the option I think the second one and the the last one is the most popular one. Um, the second one they have the compensation based on the percentage. Um, so so basically like uh, um, before the soft cap you get all the rewards um, if it's uh, between 30 uh, 300k to 310k um, you still get a hundred percent but uh, um, yeah since it's it just a, li a little bit over um, and then from 310k to 325k you get 80 percent um, so because the news already spread everywhere uh, and then the next one would be sixty percent, um, and then the the next one would be it's too late, um, only forty percent. I I believe that time if you check any news, if you are interested in the project, you, you should know that. Um, and then the this one would be only twenty percent and over forty, uh, over four hundred k, 
um, there will be only 5%. Um, I guess those who actually didn't check any news or anything. Um, so this is option B and uh, I think option B just win that, um, win the final vote. Um, and the last one is also popular. Um, this one is, uh, it says like will be rewarded according to one dot, uh, uh, each, each dot will be 10 BNC. Um, and then the linear release time of the dot reward that uh, exceeded soft on um, top portion has been extended from 96 weeks to 192 weeks. Um, so basically you are going to uh, get the rewards longer, in longer time. Like it's not for a longer time, not two years. This is how many years? This is, this is four years, right? <laughs> uh, that's quite long. So um, the voting period is uh, already done now. Um, four or five days ago it's done and the uh, and I think they already have the, the final, they already have the final results. So it's a, um, B, right? It's fine. Final result would be B. And so this is the, the first one. And the second one is uh, by Frost. Uh, they launched their SLP 2.0. So, so it's kind of a new version, um, that will, that will have a, um, uh, different conversion exchange rates um, based on the different uh, redemption periods to obtain, to obtain more accurate waste bond value. Um, so, so you can check the detail here and uh, you can also see that. Um, so those are all the details. Um, and uh, oh, I didn't pull the link, but, but by Frost, they do have the a link here so you can check that so if you go to the app if you go to the app they have the convert and here you can convert your base bond so obviously uh i forgot where it's mine but but there will be different base bond that you can use and you can convert that to the various ksm uh, and they also have the connectors uh, that you can you can stake um, and uh, when you do the staking, um, you you have a limit actually there. So the limit is uh, I think it's fifty BNC. So if you if you stake, um, for example here, um, if I put four, it will show you. Um, if I put two, it says like um, you should have at least fifty BNC to stake, and you are going to earn some. Um, APR, so it, this is a staking, um, and you can do the swap as well. So you can swap the various KSM to the KSM, um, and the ratio has been decided here. So, so you can see it here. Um, you can do the farming as well. Uh, they have the liquidity pair farming, uh, and uh, with BNC and the. Um, uh sorry not bnc uh, uh uh bnc and ksm so ksm and ausd as well ksm and mrk so so the rewards will be bnc and zlk so um it's quite high apy so you can try the dap and um, so this is uh by frost the update now let's uh, move on to the uh Mubeam. so Mubeam, um the the Actually, uh, it's just today they have the news about minting the my stable coin on Stana Swap. So now you can do that. You can borrow the my by staking those tokens, uh, and then there will be the my my yield. Uh, so you can mint it here. So this is a link. You can go and you need to log in, uh, in the St Stana um Swap, uh, and uh, they have the. They have the instruction here, so you can you can check the instruction step by step. I think it's uh it's quite straightforward. You can you can um follow this instruction and uh, and then do the the rest. Um, so um I post a link here so you can check it by yourself. Uh, the next one is about the uh referendum on two o four NFT. 
Uh, so it is already on Synchrona. So you can you can check that. I don't know. Um, I don't know what kind of uh, NFT I have got. Let's see. Okay, I have got this one. Um, this one is uh is not the best. Uh, so I'm not that lucky. Uh, so, uh, hopefully some of you get the best. There are over like fifteen hundred units voted. Uh, only six hundred and ninety of them. Um. Oh, sorry. Six hundred ninety of them didn't meet the requirement, and rest of them they meet the requirement. Um, but uh, only I think around hundreds of them they they win the first one, the plasma ball. This is very good, looks cool. Um, but unfortunately, I I get the second letter. I get this one. Um, um, it's better than the railroad lamp. <laughs> Um, this one, this NFT is a little bit special. Like you can turn on the light, so you can see that. Um, just like here. Um, so this one, like, you can turn it on or turn it off. So that's a cool NFT. Um, the next one is uh Darwinian. So Darwinian, um, they have the Evolution Land. That's an NFT game, and uh, I already make a video about the Apostle Arena, Arena here. So you can watch the video and check that. Um, and for those who participate in the Apostle Arena rank mode, um, so you need to buy the pass and uh, uh, you can claim the F NFT now. So there will be different NFT. This is the first of them uh, and then this is the second NFT. So um, don't forget to, to check that opportunity there. So connect your wallet and check whether you, uh, you qualify. Okay, and uh, now the next one is uh, the Polkadot Decoded Conference. So um, I mentioned that before actually in my video and uh, um, and uh, it's going to happen very soon, the end of this month. Um, but did you know if you register and participate, you may win uh, one NFT. So check their official Twitter. Uh, they said about that, they said you can get an NFT that will evolve into a unique one of a kind NFT avatar on the first day of the conference. And um, so we'll see what kind of um, NFT or what kind of things uh, we can get. Um, I already registered and hopefully, hopefully I can get a cool one. <laughs> and this said like the, the first 50,000 attendees uh, um, will get the NFT and uh, um, this NFT, I think the earlier you register, the better it could be. Um, it's probably not here, but um, but the earlier the better, basically. So you should you should try to register earlier. Um, okay, so I think I think that's all. That's all about the this video. Overall, like I get, um, yeah, I spend quite a lot of time actually connect all of the updates. Uh, obviously, I cannot connect everything. I, I just try my best and get some of the the parachain um, projects. I'm kind of familiar, uh, and I would like to share those news. And uh, hopefully, it's helpful. Um, if you are new to this channel, if you feel this is uh, useful, don't forget to leave a comments, subscribe, um, and uh, and then you can also uh, join my Discord and ask me any questions. Thanks for watching. Bye.